Hello members of the internet and welcome to another computer overview where today we're going to be looking at our my Dell Dimension 8300 so at the front we have two expansion bays one is me well one of them the covers missing so who cares extra vent uh, it's got a DVD burner I'm not sure if this one came with it looks like it um, our floppy drive which is a bit dusty and the door under there which, re which reveals Two USB 2.1 and a headphone jack. At the bottom here, we're starting with our graphics card, and this system requires a dedicated graphics card because there's nothing on board. We have our Ethernet jack right here. One, two, three, four, five, six USB 2.1 in the back. Surround sound right here. PS2 for the keyboard, mouse, Dell Diagnostic LEDs, serial and parallel port. Whoop de doo. Opening this thing's not a big deal either. You just press those two bottom, bottom and top clips, the usual, and they right outside in a 90 degree angle. And there it is. So we have our hard drive that it don't have the clips. Um, I have my DVD and the floppy right here. They're toolless mostly. You have to install the screws for it. Over there we have our heat sink, while well, cooling our Prescott CPU. We have four memory slots. Two of them are on the front and two of them are on the side, which I really hate. One false move and he can snap a he can snap a, a slot, so that's pretty bad. Here's a CMOS battery, North Bridge, South Bridge, one AGP and four PCI slots, and then our exhaust fan at the back, power supply, all the hoopla. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And this is all stuff in the front. This is the USB. Uh, connector, so I guess that powers the uh, front LEDs and whatnot. And I was missing my hard drive LED, so I'll, maybe I fixed it. Who knows? Um, higher temperature Prescott, I mean, higher clock Prescotts, like 3.4 or Gallatins if they're supported, is not really a good thing because um, they're powered by the Intel 875P, which is the top of the line. And with such high heat from those CPUs, sometimes that fan won't take the, you know, it'll, it'll turn on, but it wants to keep quiet, so it might not apply enough cooling. So you might want to be careful in, into what kind of CPU you throw in there. This one with the 3 gigahertz works. So, let's take it for a spin drive. This is the BIOS of the Dell Dimension 8300, and let's go quickly. Pause the video anytime you want. I also forgot two serial ATA slots are available. I mean ports, not slots. Fine. OS install mode's always off when I install operating systems, so I don't give a crap. And that's pretty much it. Simple, straight BIOS. Alright, let's give it a boot. And there we go. Um, I was completely wrong about the Radeon X700. It's a GeForce FX5200. Yeah, that's really not the case. Wow. Um, okay. And it's pending 4, 3 gigahertz. SSC, SSC2, 3, MX, all the stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go quickly over uh, a few things, pause the video anytime you want, to read what is in the system, the specs. Uh, and of course the motherboard model is the 0W, there you go.
that's a lot of slots. Yep, that's correct. Well, <laughs> okay. Huh, did this thing detect ECC memory? Hmm, who knows? Good old AC ninety seven. And that's pretty much it for the system specs. Let's do a benchmark. And here are the benchmark results for this machine. Yeah, better than the compact. I think. Memory is much better. CPU, of course. So, let's wrap things up. So, there we have it. This is the Dell Dimension 8300. Good system. Top of the line. Awesome. If you have any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And until next time, take care.